Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the design of ripple or asynchronous counter design 3. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic ripple or asynchronous counter design. We know that counter is made up of flip flop. Flip flop is the storage element. Asynchronous counter means the clock signal given to the first flip flop. Output of first flip flop is given to the clock pulse of the second flip flop. Like that it is connected. So the operation is not synchronized. So that is called a asynchronous counter. Synchronous counter means all the flip flop receive the same clock pulse. In this we are going to see the design mod 6 ripple counter using T flip flop. So what is mod 6 counter? There are 6 outputs will be there. Remaining outputs are disabled. That is called mod 6. Mod 5 means 5 outputs will be there. For example mod 6 means definitely we need 3 bit 2 to the power 3 8 outputs are there. So only 6 outputs will be available 7 and 8 outputs will be disabled. That is called a mod counter. So clearly here given we need to use the T flip flop. Right. The step 1 will determine the number of flip flop required. Here the counter goes from 0 to 5. That is total 6 states are available. 0 to 5 state means 6 states are available. That is N. Capital N equal to 6. So the number of state is 6, n equal to, capital N equal to 6. In order to find the number of flip flop, the condition is 2 to the power n greater than or equal to n. 2 to the power small n greater than or equal to n. So this n is nothing but the number of flip flop. I will take n equal to 3. So 2 to the power 3 greater than or equal to 6, that is 8 greater than or equal to 6. So this condition is satisfied. So 3 flip flops are required. Right. So, n equal to 3 while substituting this condition is satisfied. So, we identified that there are 3 flip flops are needed. Next, we need to find the types of flip flop. So, in this problem itself, it is clearly given T type flip flop. If it is not mentioned, we can use any type of flip flop. Now, we will see the truth table based on the design given. Mod 6 ripple based on that, we will see what is the truth table for this mod 6 counter. So this is a truth table available. So clock pulse CBA. So A is the LSB, C is the MSB. So these there are 8 possibilities are available. 3 bits, 2 to the power 3, 8 possibilities. In that we need only 0 to 5, mod 6. 6 outputs are needed. 7 and 8 is should be disabled. Only we need 0 to 5. Again we start from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, it, is, it goes to 0. 7 and 8 is disabled. So, that is done by the output of reset logic. After 5, we need to reset the flip-flop so that it will go to the 0. Right? So, we can use reset logic in that from 0 to 5. First to 6 states, it is 1. For 7 and 8 is 0. When it is 7 and 8, it should reset to 0. So, that the flip-flop will go from 0 to 5, 6 state, again it will go to 0, 7 and 8 will not appear. So this is the valid states, 0 to 5, 7 and 8 is invalid state, 0. So this signal we are going to give as a clear signal of the flip flop, so that it will clear the output up to 5, after that up to 5 it will give the output, 7 and 8 it will clear the output and again it will go to 0. Now we need to find the logical expression for this reset logic. So by using the Carnap map, by using K map we can find. So step 4 is reset logic expression. So this is a 3 variable, 3 variable K map. C is available vertically, B A available horizontally. C 1 variable 2 possibilities, 0, 1, C bar C. B A 2 variable 4 possibilities. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. B bar, A bar, B bar, A, B, A, B, A bar. We know that this is a min term. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So in that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are needed. 6 and 7 is 0. So what is available here? It is mapped. 
Now we need to group these cells. So there are two grouping. These four cells are grouped together. And these four cells are grouped together. So while grouping these four cells, we have to refer the corresponding row. It is C bar. In the corresponding column, we have to refer. All four columns are covered. But B bar, A bar cancelled by B A. B bar cancelled by B, A bar cancelled by A. B bar A cancelled by B A bar. Here B bar cancelled by B, A cancelled by A bar. So all are cancelled. Only C bar will be there. While grouping these four cells, we have to refer the corresponding first row and second row. First row C bar, second row C. So C, C bar got cancelled. Similarly, we have to refer first column and second column. B bar A bar, B bar A. So A bar A cancel. B bar is commonly available. So the, the resultant is B bar. So the reset logic Y equal to C bar plus B bar. So here we need one R gate. In that one input is C bar, another input is B bar. So that is given as a clear input of the all flip flop. So that it will clear up to 5. It will execute. After that, it will clear the, it will reset the flip flop. Now, we will see the logic diagram. We need to implement y equal to c bar plus b bar. So, this, so step 5 is the logic diagram. So, this is a logic diagram available. So, we need 3 flip flops. T type. T type 3 flip flop available. A, B, C. C is the MSB. A is the LSB. The output is A, B, C is the output. What we discussed already. C, B, A. The logic high is given to all the flip-flop. The T flip-flop receive logic 1. High input is given to T flip-flop. What is the nature of T flip-flop? If the input, logic input is high, the output will be toggle. Right? 0, the present state, next state. We know that present state, next state. Present state 0 mean it will toggle to 1. Present state 1 mean it will toggle to 0. That is the nature of T flip-flop while receiving the logic high. If the logic low means no change. No change in the present state and next state. But here every clock will receive the high. High output. High uh, logical logic high input. So output will toggle for every clock pulse. Every clock pulse the output the present state is toggle. What about this flip-flop B? So this flip-flop A only receive the clock pulse because of asynchronous counter. Flip-flop B is clock pulse is nothing but output of first flip-flop is the clock pulse to the second flip-flop. Similarly, output of third flip, second flip-flop is clock pulse to the third flip-flop. So this flip-flop will toggle based on the every clock pulse. This flip-flop will toggle based on the A value. A value it will toggle. For example, A equal to 0, we are applying the inverter. 0 means 1 is applied, so it will toggle. If A equal to 1, it will not toggle. Same state will be maintained because of inverter. Here also, during every trailing edge, we have positive edge and negative edge. During negative edge, this output is toggle. Similarly, during this negative edge, B is toggle. Similarly, during the negative edge, C will toggle. So, A based on clock pulse, B based on output A, C based on output B. So, this uh, flip-flop is working. So, the clear signal is there because we need only 6 outputs. 7 and 8 should be reset. So, that's done by this logic or gate. We already discussed that Y equal to C bar plus B bar. So, this R gate we are using, this B bar is connected. This is B, B bar, complement. Similarly, C bar is connected. So, this Y equal to C bar plus B bar. That is given to the clear signal. So, what will happen? Reset logic is designed such a way that for a invalid state, Y equal to 0 and counter restarts. So, it will execute 0 to 5. If 6 and 7, it will reset. So, again it will start to 0. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.